wanted to report a hit and run and waited at least 15 minutes while the front desk officer was on her phone. She finally spoke up and really asked us what we needed. We explained our situation and looked at us as if we were lying, saying that we talked to a dispatcher when we clearly talked to another officer who also didn't report our incident for us and then dismissed our case. She kept shouting from her desk and asking us to speak up, proceeding to tell us to get up to close the window. We were in literally in front of it before finally getting up. She was talking politely to the person on the phone, but when it was us, she switched up after seeing other reviews. I am unsure why she is still working here. Talk about entitlement. Very rude female officer at front desk. Will not even answer a question in a friendly manner. Just because you have a badge doesn't mean you're above everyone. Don't forget our tax dollars pay your salary. Lady at front desk does not get up to come to the window to talk to people. She sits yelling from her desk to talk from her computer. Very disrespectful. Maybe she needs to get up and sit at the window and talk like a normal officer would do for respect. There were two people I interacted with at the front desk today around noon that did not in any sense uphold their fundamental duty to serve the community. My mother was in a very serious car accident. Whoa, this review is way too long to read. Extremely rude woman at the front desk told me I was wasting my time. Had to ask for her superiority so I can explain my situation and file a report and told me I don't need to file even though eight other cars were involved. She couldn't care less if someone or herself had died or was seriously injured and still wouldn't file the report. Front desk lady extremely rude calling me a liar right in my face. As for her superiors, problem was resolved. You get the idea. How will they treat me? I sure do. I have some questions. All right, so one, I see you guys have a CHP Senior Driver Mobility Program, and it's been running for a while, since 2002 or whatnot. How do I get information upon that? And then also, there is also a Senior Volunteer Programs. So I see you guys have opportunities as far as, let's see, administration, public affairs, Volunteer use of CHP vehicles and ride-alongs with un uh, with un uniformed officers. So, how do I get information for that too? If someone wanted to participate in that program, is it senior volunteer program? Correct. Oh, okay. So it's it's a it's a time periodic basis then. Oh, okay. Do you guys have any kind of paperwork at all for that? No, like I said, because here we don't have one. 
Mm -hmm. So they're in the process of creating one. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, like other offices, like the Baltimore Park East Traffic. Yes. They've had one for years now. Okay. Um, we just haven't had one here, so they're, they're starting one up. Basically. Okay, okay. Is there a better time to come back for that? Um, then? Let me see if he's here to see if I can get any info. If you want to just hang out for a minute. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. Um, what, else, what, what other information would you like? Like, what, are, what is it that you're looking for? Okay, so <clears throat> within that, I see on those programs, so it's staying to contact for those. So if a person wants to, say, go into the administration, um, is there paperwork that they got to fill out? Is there something that we could get from you guys that they can fill out? Because the thing about it is that the people I'm doing this for, uh, they're very hard of seeing. So online is not very helpful for them. So I was wondering if I gained kind of paperwork at all. Um, as far as pertains to that, they were really interested as far as the public affairs and or the voluntary use of the CSP vehicles to, and the ride-alongs. So they're trying to figure out exactly how they could get involved in the ride-alongs as, and as far as the public affairs to exactly what positions those are and are how they could get involved in that too. So once, once we get the program up and running, okay. there's, there's not a program here at the moment. Mm, okay. We're trying to start from the ground up. Okay. So once we get that going, there's a whole process, there's an application process, and there may be even, a, even an academy that goes on here to kind of learn about you know, how to operate the vehicles and kind of things that they do as a volunteer. So there's a whole process they got to go through. So is that something that they have to call up for, or do they physically yeah, so come we, in? Yeah, so once we're ready to kind of get this thing rolling, we're going to put it out there to, you know, on social media, you know, senior centers nearby that we're looking for volunteers, and then we can fill out an application. And okay, and that goes... By each um, county, is that correct? So, kind of per area office. So, our area is Rancho Cucamonga, but we cover from Fontana correct. to LA County. Yes, correct. So, yeah, okay. if, if they're within our jurisdiction of yes. this office, then they would be out of this office. So, LA County, too, then? To LA County. Okay. okay. Then LA County has their own, and, and each office will have their own. Sounds good. Okay. Yeah, great. So, um, yeah, you said they're, they're hard, hard of hearing or hard of seeing? Or it's hard of seeing, yeah. It's kind of hard to, to hear and, and seeing or whatnot, but they do like, want to do. If, if um, not not at the moment, but they just really wanted to get a little bit just of the information, you know, see, you know, get into it. And then I was supposed to come back. I'm the messenger right now. But, <laughs> you know, um, so I'll say, you know, I'll go ahead. I'll do you that favor. I'll come down here and try to get as much information as possible. But, you know, this pamphlet right here is something. <laughs> you want a few more to pass out to them? Yes. Yeah, awesome. Um, miss, what was your name? Navarra. Navarra. Okay, I really do appreciate your help. Of course. It's kind of nice because I worked in the Baltimore Park office years ago. Uh huh. And they had volunteers here, and it was nice because when I was working for like I could go out for patrol, and a couple of people would come with me. Yes. There you go. And it keeps them active, it keeps people helpful, right? Instead of just withering away. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, and there we go. They would come to class with us. Yes. So they would be, uh, basically, they would be trained as a car seat technician too. Okay. So they could install car seats. So that's my next question is that you guys do have the classes for car seats here? Yeah. Well, so, so it just depends on where it would be. Uh, so we have an instructor that works out of this office. Okay. But it, like if we have a training, it might not necessarily be here. Uh, Okay. Oh. So, so then it's not necessarily like, oh, there's a new mother. She just had a child, and she wants to come in here and, and figure out, you know, the best ways. We would still need to make a a, a planned, scheduled visit then. Oh, so installing car seats, yeah, like he's he's one as well. Okay. So they'll come in and he'll he'll go out. And out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So that's when is that available? Is that just available when you guys are open? Yeah. Okay. I don't want to just hold a class and not have people attend, so okay. I think it just kind of goes on, hey, we need some more people to do this and stuff like that. So. Sounds great. Thank you so much. Anyone, yours, near you, sir? Officer Rolls. Officer Rolls? Rolls. All right. Thank you. I appreciate both of you, okay? You guys have a great day, all right? All right. All right. I purposely came over here because Google reviews have labeled this a three-star. 
plenty of people have said that the officer working at the desk, the female officer, does not get up from her seat, does not, is rude when helping out. So when I was coming over here, I was expecting her to be rude. My thing is that she's pretty helpful. As long as you're helpful, as long as you're respectful, to me, I'm respectful back. I'm not gonna come out with an automatic negative attitude towards law enforcement, but as soon as I see an attitude, I'm gonna match that attitude back. That's where I, that's how I do. So my main thing is to come over here and show um, my audience that there is um, help with the P CHP. If you have seniors that want to join and or help out the cause of um, police in the streets, you know, cause I'm not against police in the streets. I'm not against CHP. I'm not against California Highway Patrol. I'm not against law enforcement, far from it. What I want is accountability for law enforcement. That's the main thing. A lot of people probably don't even know the information of the CHP right along or whatnot. And or you could go into your CHP office if you're a new mother and they can show you how to install a car seat properly. That is key right there. I wanna say something. I really do appreciate the fans. Excuse me, I'm walking all crazy. I really do appreciate those who've came just recently. I mean, I'm bewildered, amazed, flabbergasted. I am ecstatic. It's awesome to have uh, followers um, that, that are like, just watching what I do is how I talk. Yeah, I get a little silly, man. That's just me, me trying to break out of the the introvert stage that I'm in. I like to have fun when I'm out here. And I'm out and about on the streets. So yeah, you're gonna hear my narration voice, my commentary, and I hope that you like it. And if you don't, it's cringeworthy, then it's cringeworthy. I'm not a cup of tea for everybody. That's That's great. But what I am trying to do is show others who do have anxiety, who do have, who are introverted, you know, who do go through depression stages that there is light at the end of the tunnel that, you know, you can put yourself out there, be the best of yourself. So I'm, I'm over here 42 today, if you guys are wondering, 42. I want to be a street photographer. I'm studying to be a street photographer. I know it's a little, little uh, um, boring one, um, I still want to keep my videos going, even if there is not necessarily a, a lot of actions going on, a lot of action going on. So I would say, let me, let me give you, leave you guys with this. In a world where you go to CHP office and the woman was said to be a jerk, but she turns out to be okay. Until next time, I will see you guys later coming to a theater near you.